Just when he thought Chris Hemsworth couldn't get any more brutal with his anger towards Marvel for the way that they have mistreated the Thor character in the Marvel films, he then takes it to a whole new level, especially when it comes to his distaste towards Taika Waititi. So let's get into this and see what is going on here. Chris Hemsworth says his return to the MCU depends on Thor being portrayed drastically different from Taika Waititi's bastardization. And of course, uh, you know, people have various opinions on it. Taika Waititi's films when it comes to Thor. I absolutely can't stand either adaptation. I did not like Ragnarok. I did not like Thor Love and Thunder. I think they both were uh, horrible for the Thor character and they took the story in a lot of very weird directions when it comes to Thor and especially uh, especially with the fact that you know pretty much any sort of dramatic moment that could have been a very impactful moment in those films particularly in Ragnarok it was completely destroyed because of Taika Waititi having to throw in some sort of stupid joke that totally wasn't even funny because it just ruined a very powerful and dramatic moment. But with all of that aside, let's get into this because Chris Hemsworth is also not happy with the way that Thor has been handled. And further confirmation that the actor, like most everyone, is fed up with the director's blatant disrespect for the character, Chris Hemsworth has declared that his return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Thor is contingent on being able to play a drastically different version of the character compared to his portrayal under the irony laden direction of Taika Waititi. I've said this before but when it becomes too familiar I think there's there's a risk of getting lazy then because like, oh, I know what I'm doing you know. Yeah. Um, so I don't know I, again I don't know if I'm even invited back but um, if, if, if I was I think it would be a it would have to be a drastically different version. Yeah. Um, it, it tone everything. Yes, and like I've said before, I've been very critical of the tone of Thor, Ragnarok, and Thor, Love, and Thunder, and I think that he definitely feels the same way. Just for just for my own sanity. Yeah, I, hear I, I hear can't. Have they keyed you? Lost his mind that last one. I think he's got to <laughs> <laughs> figure it out now. Um, <laughs> have you? Ever which is interesting because I do kind of agree that some of Thor's best stuff has been in Avengers. Um, Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, even though they made the whole Fat Thor thing, and I think that was just overplayed a lot, and uh, there could have been a really cool uh, kind of arc for his character uh, in the film, you know, with him being fat and then, you know, him getting into shape again or, or whatever else. They could have done something very symbolic and cool with that, but they didn't. So anyway, with all of that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below because I think what Chris Hemsworth is saying here is absolutely spot on and he's completely correct about this when it comes to Thor and uh, he, it's very it's pretty apparent now at this point that he is not happy, especially I think he can actually see the fact that a lot of audiences weren't really a huge fan of Thor Love and Thunder and some of that type of stuff and that probably does not do very well for him because he is someone that wants to continue to make high quality films that fans are going to love just from some of the, the other things that Chris Hemsworth has said in the past when it comes to Thor and uh, his career so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think about this in the comments below and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon